In less than six months, Bell's V-280 Valor Tilt Rotor prototype, built for a U.S. Army capability demonstration, has gone from ground runs to cruising speeds of 195 knots and has been put through its paces in hover mode. And V-280 continues to push the envelope as it flies deeper into the joint multi-role technology demonstration, JMRTD, that is expected to wrap up in fiscal year 2019 when the Army and its joint partners decide what it will pursue for a future vertical lift aircraft and is expected to be fielded in the 2030s but possibly sooner. Valor flew for a small group of reporters in its first public demonstration June 18th at Bell's Amarillo production facility, where its legacy tilt rotor, the V-22 Osprey, is still coming off the production line for the Marine Corps, Navy and Air Force. The demonstration, according to Bell, was just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what the aircraft is capable of doing. The V-280's clean sheet design differs from the V-22 with a straight wing fixed engine nacelles, sliding side doors, a lower disc loading that reduces downwash and a tail dragger configuration, the signature V on the tail of the aircraft, according to Ryan Ehinger, the V-280 program manager. Bell has had representatives from the U.S. Army on site throughout the development of the aircraft, he said. While Bell has been moving the V-280 rapidly through key performance parameters set by the Army, it still has a ways to go before it reaches the edges of the V-280's capabilities, but it is proceeding on track, Ehinger said. The company has logged nearly 40 flight hours in the test program while its testing and engineering team has closely monitored the aircraft's telemetry in flight including watching thousands of instrumentation channels coming off the aircraft in real time, he added. In the demonstration, the pilots hand flew the aircraft with very limited augmentation to show that they are able to fly in the most degraded capability while maintaining good handling qualities. The V-280 took off in a hover during the demonstration and rapidly climbed to 500 feet above ground level and made several passes over the crowd. On its first pass, the aircraft reached roughly 170 knots, which is already faster than any helicopter's cruise speed. On the second pass, the V-280 reached 175 knots, which is equivalent to 201 miles per hour, according to Frank Lazara, Bell's advanced tilt rotor systems business development manager who spent 11 years flying V-22s in the Air Force's Special Operations Command. At full rate, pylon transition to cruise mode takes 20 seconds, Lazara said.